Hi guys, today we are reviewing the Adidas Brisbane ADH2960 watch. In the review we'll go through the style, features as well as dimensions. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, we have a Adidas box for this watch, nice cardboard box. The watch is inside on a sort of a cushion as normal, we've got the tags for the watch and then you've got this round type cushion for it. As you can see it's a very very black looking watch, very dark, it's a matte rubber finish to the case and that goes round to both sides. You have got this oil stick petrol type crown with the little Adidas logo in black and gold which is quite nice and we've got a rubber black strap. The strap's got the again the petrol finished metal buckle with the Adidas logo in it. If we look on the inside of the strap we've got lots of adjustment points. You've also got the Adidas logo, you can see it very well, but the Adidas logo is actually in the strap itself which is quite nice. We have a screw in back, it's screwed into the watch it's 100 meters water resistant so this is a watch you could go swimming with it's quite a nice strap it's quite well put together so it's quite comfortable to if you were to wear it swimming or getting wet in somewhere or another obviously as it's an adidas watch it is a sports watch although in this particular model these adidas watches aren't made by adidas these are actually made under license by the fossil group so if we come around to the face of the watch we've got a protector on the screen so if i take the protector off We've got the petrol metal finish to the edge of the bezel and then you've got this very dark matte bezel with the numbers sort of on a shiny sort of finish on the edge of it. It is a rotating bezel as always. The face, the glass itself has got an oil slick type finish to the glass. So the glass is tinted and coloured. You've got a cyclops window and you've got the dates, um, unusually the other way around than normal, this is a black background with white numbers. The face itself is, I can tell, it looks like it's a gold finish. It's the glass that changes the colouring on here. Um, if you can see at this angle though, you can see that the hour markers and the numbers 12, 6 and 9 are in a metal finish and again they're finished along with the hands and the Adidas logo in this oil slick stroke petrol finish on the metal. So it's very very nice looking, very unique looking watch in that respect. Very unusual and of course obviously that's the reason why I bought it because of the way it looks. So it's a very nice and unusual looking watch. It's part of the Adidas Brisbane range. This is the first Adidas Brisbane watch I've bought. I have got a couple of other Adidas watches but I've never had a Brisbane one before, so it's a slightly different case shape than my other Cambridge watches. But it's still very nice. I like the look of it. And of course, I would love the petrol type finish or the oil slick finish, as they call it. If we come to the dimensions of the watch, the face is 32 millimeters. The case is 42 millimeters. With the crown, that works out at 46. It's quite a large crown, as you can see. We have a strap width of 22 millimeters. Again, with this side, you can see the Adidas logo in here and on the other side. And the watch is 13 millimeters thick from front to back. So it's fairly deep. Again, it's all rubber. It's quite soft and pliable. Overall weight of the watch is 64 grams. Because it's rubber, it's not a heavy watch, but it is a nice, comfortable to watch to wear. And it's a very unusual watch to look at. It catches the light in many different ways. So each time you look at it, you're always going to get sort of a different view of the colours and the way that they shine. Sort of a flip colour like you'd have on some of the flip paint you see on cars. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like the review. If you do like the review, please hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos about watches. And hit the notification bell to be notified of when I upload new videos. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.